Okay, reviewing what we went over last time, we have our HTML tags here and our body tags. And we have our hello world, which is basic HTML with header uh, tags around it. And we have our JavaScript here, which outputs these two lines. One writes to the document, which is our HTML page. Uh, this is my JavaScript, so just that string. And the other one writes part of a string and then adds to the end of that a function, which is the date function, which we'll get more into in the future, but outputs the date and time there. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own function. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all that HTML code, or I'm sorry, all that JavaScript code that we just uh, had right there. What I'm going to do is up here above the body tag, I'm going to put in a header tag. So we're going to want to put our JavaScript uh, functions within the header of the HTML page. So what we can do here, once again, we're going to start our script tag. So this is a script. And what type of script is it? Plain text. What type of plain text? It's a JavaScript text. And we will close off that tag. Make sure that you put things properly. There we go. And now we're going to create our function within there. Um, and the way we do functions in JavaScript is we type function. This allows JavaScript to know that this next part's a function. We're going to give the function a name. We'll say new msg for new message. And then we'll put uh, two uh, uh, parentheses there, which in the future will hold variables, but we're not passing any variables to this function in particular. Uh, and then we're going to use our squiggly brackets here, or braces, whatever you prefer. And everything in between those braces, or squiggly brackets, are going to uh, run when you call that function. I do have to call the function before it runs. We'll get to, into that in a moment. And we're going to type in, as we did before, document dot write, spelling things properly once again, our parentheses, and not forgetting to end with a semicolon there. And then we're going to uh, put our quotations and type our string, which we'll put some HTML code in here. We'll say uh, a P tag for paragraph tag, and we'll say this is a new message and we will close that paragraph tag right there now if we save this and our browser updates up here you see it says hello world it doesn't print out our message here and that's because as i said that function has not been called yet there are many ways to call javascript functions but we're going to do it in a very basic way by creating a button and we're going to just come down here to our body and we're going to put a button tag we're going to say the type is a button and um, then we are going to say on click equals new MSG. Don't forget your parentheses there and close your quotations and close that tag. Um, so we're creating a button when that button is clicked. So on click, we're going to run our function, which is up here. We got to give that button some text. So we'll just say click me for the text and we will close with a button close tag. Now we will save this and when the page refreshes up here you'll see that we have a click me button. What happens when we click me? Well it prints out our message. This is a new message. Great! Except for what happened to the rest of our page? What happened to our hello world and our button? Well when you are using the document write function you are writing to the entire document. So if you had an entire web page there and you add this button that links to this function, the entire web page will disappear. So it's great that JavaScript allows us to modify the page without having to refresh the page, but we don't necessarily want to replace everything on the page every time we click a button. Um, so how do we make it so it just changes elements on the page, just certain parts of the page. Well, that's what we're going to get into in the next tutorial. So I hope you stick with us. Stick with me. Us. I guess I got viewers. Um, and in our next tutorial, we will write to sections of the page and manipulate elements rather than the entire web page as we are doing right here with uh, the write function. So. Uh, visit the links in the description, my webpage, I'll have the sample code there, uh, and I hope that you continue watching this series, and I hope that you have a great day.